So the definition of a Christian. A lot of people would say, well, a Christian is a righteous person. Now, am I saying we shouldn't be righteous? Oh, don't get ahead of me. You know, but, but, but a lot of people would say, okay, a righteous person is a Christian. You know, he don't lie, he don't cheat, he don't steal, he don't cheat on his wife. He basically believes in keeping the commandments. Okay. Well, Isaiah 64 and verse 6 says this. But we are all as an unclean thing, and our righteousness are as filthy rags. Yeah, get that. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. And we are all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquity, that is our sins, like the wind, have taken us away. Now, am I saying that we should not be righteous? Oh, no. no I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there are no brownie points for doing the right thing. There are no, you get no brownie points for keeping the law of God. Jesus put it this way in Luke 17 and verse 10. He says, likewise you, when you shall have done all these things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. So after you've kept all the Ten Commandments, you say, you know, we are unprofitable. You haven't earned a thing. It is our duty. You see, our righteousness in doing the right thing is our duty. It's simply given to us. The law is given to us to make our lives work. Okay? So it's your duty. You want a society that works? Keep the commandments. You want a society that does not work? Like the one we live in now? Well, then, the reason our society doesn't work is because people are not keeping the Ten Commandments. The, people, the reason people lie to you is, is why? The reason people uh, cheat on one another in adultery, what, is, why is that? Uh, the reason people steal, okay, what, what are they doing? What are they not doing? They're not keeping the Ten Commandments, okay? Why do people work themselves to death and insist they must work seven days a week? Because they're not willing to keep the commandments. They're not willing to keep the fourth commandment that says, six days shall you labor, but the seventh is my Sabbath. In it you shall do no work. You rest. You stop. How hard is this? You, you know, you would think it's like take a break, take a vacation, take a day off. You know, the children of Israel made bricks for seven days a week, and they didn't complain about when God reinstituted his Sabbath. They didn't complain to take, a, take the Sabbath off. They didn't complain. But we complain. We think we've got to work all the time. And I'm telling you, you can make more money if you honor God than if you try to work seven days a week. This I know from experience. So, okay, anyway, so what am I saying? Well, the definition of Christian is not righteousness uh, because doing the right thing is just for the purpose of making your own life work, okay? So what is the definition of a Christian? 